Well, good morning again. This is uh, Psalm 23 for today, one of the most well-known and most beloved psalms that are in the Bible. As we shared from the one yesterday, there's a big connection between the, the place that Psalm 22 goes, but then getting to Psalm 23, which has a very, very different feel. But Psalm 23 is one that very much speaks into this season uh, that we find ourselves. And so, from Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters and restores my soul. The Lord leads me in right paths for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The accompanying poem is written by Martha Spong. It's entitled, Are You? And the Psalm verse is 23, 4b. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Maybe you are my mother, working at your sewing machine to clothe me, picking me up at school when I have a fever, cautioning me when I don't want you to, but usually later I appreciate it. You pick up when I call, you know before I tell you, because you know me better than I know myself. Know when it's time for a change of venue or companions, reinvention, revision, or recreation. You are mercy and loving kindness from everlasting to everlasting. In your presence, I feel at home. I trust and I am yours forever. I, I love this image because I will just say that I have been spending quite a bit of time at my sewing machine making masks of late. Um, so I resonate with that, not that I'm godlike, but um, the image of moms at sewing machines and caring and all of these kinds of things resonate. I, I feel like I don't think God created COVID-19, but I think that in the midst of this awfulness, God can speak to us and remind us of what is important and what kinds of things we have to offer each other, what gifts we have to share that we might have forgotten about. Mm -hmm. This psalm and, and this poem, especially the way that uh, Reverend Spong uh, brings it and, and shares it, to me emphasizes the side of God that even as I read the psalm, um, you know, our English language is limited by the ways that we can mm. speak in pronouns. Yeah. You know, we have he and she. There's, yeah. there's nothing in between other than it. And we don't want to call God it. We call a rock it. <laughs> we don't want to call God it. Well, now um, we have they. That's which true. Which is kind of a, a, yeah. a little bit strange for people who haven't used that. But mm -hmm. we, we don't really have a gender neutral personal pronoun. Yeah. But with, with this psalm and this poem, the psalm, it was all he, he, he. And then this poem really is emphasizing the maternal side of God that side of God that is the, you know, I will carry you under the shelter of my wings. Um, I've nurtured you, I've cared for you, I've, I've held you. And all these things that as Reverend Spong lifts it up of what God's love is in this wider, deeper sense. And so in this season that we find ourselves, Yes, we have the God who is the God of strength and power, but also the God who is the God of compassion and care. And, and that neither one of those is one that just says that's the male side of God or the female side. That's just God for us all. And I, I love this piece. You are mercy and loving kindness from everlasting to everlasting. In your presence, I feel at home and I trust I am yours forever. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Grace and peace be with you.